since I've known you, you've, you've always been passionate about so many different types of music, man. When you were growing up, you know, your parents are fantastic people. So shout out to the Basics. Um, what, did they raise you on music or when did it first come into your life? Um, so that's a good question. So when I was in middle school, okay, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Okay, go. Our mitzvah theme was music. Was yes. Music. Yeah. I, we can I end had, the interview now. Everything makes sense. <laughs> I, had, I had posters of Rolling Stones, The Beatles, The Who, uh, Leonard Skinner, Led Zeppelin. Wow. You know, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, like, you name it. Like, I mm-hmm. had posters every, in every section of my Barber Mitzvah. Every table was named after a band. Mm-hmm. So clearly at that point, I was already, <laughs> um, and I loved rock music, loved yeah. rock music. My favorite band that was Green Day. Um, nice. Like that was at the time current. Cause like my first album was Dookie that I bought. And then I loved, um, uh, you know, like American Idiot. The, American Idiot. Yeah. yeah. I'm like classic. So good. Um, but like, I would say like, as a genre, like I was a fan of classic rock. So yeah. that obviously came from my dad. Mm-hmm. And it was actually funny. So he was one of the first people to get XM radio in his car. <laughs> wow. And we, when we would go on road trips, I, on, I, it, the way XM radio worked on the car is when it played the song, you actually had to click a button to see who yes. the artist was. I remember that. It was really weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know why, but we turned it into a game. So me and my dad would go on these like long car rides because we were in Connecticut. So we could go to like DC or Boston or Cooperstown yep. or yep. all these different places and we could get there within a few hours. So we would do these little road trips every once in a while. Mm-hmm. And on those road trips, we would play a game and I, we would listen to XM radio, the classic rock station. And yep. Lewis, how quickly without knowing who the artist was, could I guess band just you. by hearing the song? <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't know any of them. This one in the beginning, I I had a very general knowledge, right? Um, but I really wanted to be good at this game. Mm-hmm. And by like, you know, our our second road trip, like I could hear one second of a guitar, and based on how the guitar, like the type of guitar and how it sounded to me, the sonics of it and the sound yeah. design, and like little moments of like mix and the the vocals, I would just be like. The Eagles, you know, <laughs> Led Zeppelin. Like, yeah. That's Glenn Fry. Like I could be able to to be so good at at identifying just off of like a voice or a sound or the type of drum, like the way the songs are with a certain type of drums. Like that's Keith Moon of the Who. Like I could just know that stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was almost like savant like. Yeah. Um, Seriously. And I think that was like the, I think, in developing my A and R ear. Yeah. Like I'm really great at hearing mixes. Like there are sometimes I'll hear like a chord progression or a type of sound. And remember, I listen to like probably thousands, if not, I've probably listened to tens of thousands of demos. Yeah. And like a, a producer of mine will send me a song and I'll be like, that's the same drum pattern you use on this song three years ago. You got an ear, and bro. Like, and he's like, I don't even remember doing that. How did you know that? <laughs> and it's just like this weird savant thing. You know, like, I don't know how yeah. I know, but I do think that like that type of like, um, attention to detail for Sonics started then. So I would say that's where like my, my love of this side of music came in where it was like, I can never sing. Um, my, my processing is pretty slow when it comes mm-hmm. to like, if I want to play a chord on the guitar from the time I think of the chord, I want to play the time my fingers and do yeah. the, do the playing. I'm just not, my, my processing isn't quick enough to be really great. I hear it. I can hear it but I, I can't take what's in my head and, and, and do it. Right. Um, which makes me, I think a decent A and R. Yeah. I'm just not a great musician myself. So I understand. I, yeah. I, but I do think like, um, you know, my, my dad being a, a such a huge guitar fan and classic rock fan and like turning, making games out of it and getting me introduced to that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I started playing guitar at 10 years old. Like, I think that, um, I think that was obviously yeah. helpful. <laughs> That's so for special, sure. man. Thanks for sharing that story about your dad. That's really, really cool. Yeah, I'm sure he'll like hearing that too. Yeah, my dad was a huge influence in that regard too. I remember it was like a little built-in XM thing. Like it wasn't even part of the radio. It was like this separate thing that was like in like yeah. the little weird part of the car that like barely fit in there. I remember That's that so too. Funny. You unlocked a memory for me with that. I love it. It's so weird how those like little things like they just, like you, you don't think about them for years and then they. 
Yeah. Right out. Man, do I love Sherman and Booth. Oh, hey, I think you do too. Hope you enjoyed that piece of content. If you're looking for more, make sure to go to my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any upcoming Sherman the Booth interviews, live sets, new music, exclusive artist interviews, Sherm's Word, sub pack reviews, and more. This is your one-stop shop for everything entertainment. Cheers.